Hello and welcome to Arc Flash version 4.1. In this tutorial, we'll discuss various Arc Flash Analytic version 4.1 program features and settings, including units of measurement, label layout, saving labels, calculation results, and equipment configuration. 1. Units of measurement. Arc Flash Analytic version 4.1 allows you to perform arc flash analysis using metric, kilojoules, kilogram, or imperial units. Let's start with launching the program and entering input parameter including gap between conductors, working distances, etc. The unit screen will pop up showing default units of measurement for input and output data. This feature allows you to switch units of measurement for wide variety of input and output data including protection boundaries, incident energies, working distance, arc flash initial pressure, arc flash explosive, trinitrolucine equivalent and more. Let's change gap between conductors and working distance from millimeters to inches. The main program screen will reappear. You will notice that the original metric gap between conductors and working distance values have been converted to imperial units. 2. Label Layout Next, we will learn how to tweak arc flash warning labels, layout, and information displayed on the label. Before we fine-tune label format settings, let us complete our example by entering the rest of input data. Let us enter 0 0.01 and 0 0.5 seconds for arc flash duration and arc flash duration at reduced current and check pressure and TNT equivalent boxes below. The system summary and calculation results will show up. This is default label layout and list of information displayed on a typical warning label. Now let's click on options menu of the main program screen and select label format. The label layout screen will pop up showing default label type, language, label layout, and label content. Let's change label type to black and white and select more items from the label list below. The main program screen will reappear. Click on next to access the label preview screen. You will notice a change in label preview window appearance. Now let's click on the back button and the back button again and again to get back to the program main screen. Let's click on the menu and select label format. The label layout screen will pop up showing existing label type, language, label layout and label content. Let's have a look on different label layout. The program allows us to specify the hazard reason as well as to enter up to two additional lines of information displayed on a warning label. Three, saving labels. Click on Save PDF or Save JPEG or Save Bitmaps button to save the label in any one of the available electronic formats. You will need a standard laser or inject printer to produce warning labels created using Arc Flash Analytic version 4.1 software.
4. Saving calculation results. Now let's click on the back button. The system summary and calculation results screen will reappear. By pressing save, the results will be saved to a text file for future reference or printing. You can save results for different jobs under different names. Now let's go back to the main program screen. By choosing Open File menu, you can now open an existing results file. Inspect its current content. Do simple editing operations including cut, copy, and paste to and from the clipboard. Save and print. If you need more complex editing, import the file into your favorite text manipulation processor, MS Word, for example, and do what you need to do. Five, saving equipment configuration and browsing save records. ArcFlash Analytic version 4.1 allows you to save equipment configuration for future reference. You will need to specify equipment name, 30 symbol maximum, and select file. Next, save current equipment menu option to save the equipment configuration to the database. Now click select file, browse save record menu options to open up the database containing save equipment configuration. You can use navigation buttons to select a record and click on import current record button to copy the data into the program main window. To get more information, please visit us at www.arcadvisor.com.